Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to make a static material. Sort of like a static TV that you could add into your scenes. And I thought would act a sort of level of spookiness to your games. Because uh, those sort of scenes are always really cool. I always think anyway. Um, now I haven't got a fake TV sadly or anything like that. But what I thought I could do is... Um, basically just grab a panel to show off the material and you just you're just gonna have to use your imagination and imagine this is a tv but um yeah i thought i'd just uh, i don't know add it in sort of here maybe uh that looks good to me um just so we can see it looking all kind of spooky and staticky uh in the background and if you had a sound or like static tv to this it would be even more effective than uh, this. So if you had a little fake TV and then some static sound, it would be very cool. But I, I, I've been messing around this for my other game um, so I thought I would um, share share my uh, code. Um, there is something you will need. Uh, let me just drag it in. It is a texture. It's a noisy background texture. Um, I'll add it in for the members um, into the Discord, but um, obviously you can just get this off Google. It really, honestly, just just all I did was search noisy uh, static TV image texture, and it kind of came up. You can find it in about two seconds, but I'll put it in the Discord for the members anyway. Um, we have got, uh, I'm going to call this static TV mat, um, and it's going to be really, really quick and easy to do this. It, it honestly takes 30 seconds if if you know what you're doing. Texture sample. Off the R, we're going to do a round. Now, you can make this a base color, uh, but I like to make this emissive, so it has like a little bit of glow to it. Um, then we just need to get the texture, texture coordinate. We're going to get a scalar parameter, hold S and click, and we'll call this time. And we'll set this to about 10. 10's a good value. Play around with it though, but, but 10 tends to be a good good value to multiply by. And we'll do that. Um, after that, we're going to want a panner. Panner, not panar. And um, we're just, for speed, we'll just get a, if you hold down one and click, you'll get a little one constant. Uh, set it to one and plug that into the speed. Time is irrelevant um, in this scenario. Then we'll get a rotor um, node, and we're going to set the speed to 3. So this is basically combining all of this and getting it into the UVs. We should get a kind of nice little rippling effect. As you can see now, it's kind of like that staticky look, which is really cool. Um, if we apply this, and uh, we'll close it down, or add it onto here. Third person map, and we're just going to drag this onto this here. And um, if you get nice and close, you should be able to see it being affected. It's not like the biggest. Um, you can see it better in here, to be honest. Um, but that on a TV would look really cool. And it's got the glow to it as well, which is even nicer. Um, that just is very, very effective. Um, I've got it in one of my scenes. I'll show you it now in one of my other games. Um, and you can see it in effect there as well. It, it's such a nice um, thing. You can also just put it straight in the G GBP if you really want to. It doesn't it doesn't hurt um, to have it do that either. Um, but I don't feel like you get the same effect. But this might be hard to see on the computer, obviously. But um, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, maybe 1.5 would be a little bit nicer as well. Maybe 3 is a bit too fast. Um, yeah, that's kind of that is kind of nice actually. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Again, kind of hard to probably see on the recording of this, um, but it is just a nice little effect you can get from um, from doing uh, very minimal work. And again, if you put this on a TV with a bit of static noise. You could possibly add in a uh, rec light 
or uh, a point light just to give it that kind of glow off and it, it would look really nice um but yeah i'll uh, load up the other game and i'll show you that in like two seconds just so you can see it in effect as well in a, in a bigger instance but yeah okay so this is the other game that i'm working on I'm working on this big movie theater and uh, as you can see again it's just subtle but you can see that little static effect going on in the background it looks a lot better on a bigger screen to be fair um and again if you had some nice static sounds going it would be very very nice um and yeah just a little bit of a thing i'm working on at the moment for one of my other games but yeah a little sneak peek there for you if you like <laughs> uh, but thank you so much guys for watching hopefully it was useful and helped you to get that little bit of a nicer effect um and a bit of a spookier one as well considering we're coming up to halloween now but thank you so much guys for watching uh, as always uh we're on the road to ten thousand subscribers this next year so if you could hit that subscribe button it would mean a world to me and um yeah i'll see you in the next video much love take care bye